How's it going, goons? Welcome to Chicago, Illinois, home of the deep dish pizza, the bean, and most importantly, DePaul University. As part of the Big East, the Blue Demons aren't the worst basketball program in the nation, but compared to their conference opponents, which include Villanova, Butler, and UConn, they haven't seen nearly as much success. Last making the Final Four in 1979, they haven't made it out of the second round since 1987, and haven't been to the March Madness Tournament since 2004. Wanting to change things up in the program, DePaul's athletic director has brought in a controversial hire at the head coaching position in Brandon Goon, an unproven commodity with no official basketball coaching experience. Coach Goon runs an up-tempo offense and focuses on shooters and athletic freaks. Expect to see a high volume of three-point shots and seven-footers working in the post. Defense isn't mandatory, but if you can't shoot well, you better clamp down on your assignment. Unfortunately for Coach Goon, DePaul's roster isn't stacked and certainly doesn't have the type of talent he's looking for. The current front court of the team is stronger than the back court with Jason West starting at the five. At 6'10", the junior is tied for the highest overall on the team at an 80. He has an 80 shooting ability, making him a go-to option in the paint, and is a monster on the boards with an 86 in defensive rebounding and a 93 in offensive rebounding. At 255 pounds, don't expect him to get bullied down low as he boasts a 92 strength rating as well. At the 4 is the 78 overall Eric Vilma. At 6'9", he has the height to be successful, but isn't a great shooter. If he manages to make a free throw at any point during the season, I would be incredibly surprised. Where Vilma thrives is on defense, where he has the team's highest block rating at an 83, and a surprising amount of speed for his size with an 84 speed and an 89 in quickness. The 3 spot is the weakest on the team with 70 overall Omri Webster starting. Omri isn't a bad shooter with a 74 field goal rating and a 72 from the charity stripe, but beyond that, the 6'5 freshman has a lot of work to do to become a real contributor. Starting at the 2 is the guard Tim Clausen. The 73 overall sophomore is the worst shooter in the starting lineup with just a 61, but with a 93 passing rating, he'll be looking to rack up assists, not points. Expect the 6'1 speedster to always be looking for the open man. Arguably the best player on the roster, the senior Ray Braxton leads the team at the 1. At 80 overall, Ray can shoot well with an 80 field goal and an 83 three-point rating. Ray doesn't just have the shooting, but also quick feet and the quickest hands on the team, with an 87 in stealing and an 86 in passing. As the oldest and most skilled starter, expect Ray to carry the team as he looks to find a place in the NBA. The bench for the Blue Demons doesn't have much talent. Six man Tyson Lawrence is a 72 overall, 6 foot 1 guard who can't do much of anything, and the only scoring threat off the bench is Sam Caldwell who at 74 overall as a freshman has the team's second highest three-point rating at just a 68. We'll be playing with 10-minute halves on the recommended sliders that come packaged with the March Madness Legacy mod. I feel this will allow us to play games with somewhat realistic stats while helping to keep episodes at the right length. Hopefully, you guys are as excited about this series as I am, so if you want me to make this a full-time series, please hit the like button so I know you guys are interested. With all that said, let's go ahead and get this started. As we can see, the Blue Demons have a decent amount of team prestige and school pride, but just haven't been super successful. According to this game, uh, their recent records were 11-19, 6-12 uh, in conference, and 0-9 versus the top 25 putting them at number 157th in the country. But in real life, they've been at the bottom or right near the bottom of the Big East for the past like four seasons. We have a lot of tools at our disposal to work with, but it's not necessarily going to be easy. So let's go ahead and get in here. We're going to be running pretty much on the normal dynasty options here. I mean, I can max out the, the length of the dynasty just in case we decide to somehow do 30 seasons, although I just can't see that happening. Uh, and then again, there's all our rules and our gameplay settings. So let's just go ahead and begin the dynasty and see what we can do. We have been invited right off the bat to the Puerto Rico tip-off. 
We'll just pretty much have to add uh, like 13 years onto all of the dates in this game. But we will absolutely accept the invitation to the tip-off. That'll give us some good out-of-conference opportunities and a little bit of tournament experience as well. Well, let's go through all our preseason stuff. First off, taking a look at the ESPNU preview of the Big East. They have us not at the bottom, but pretty close. Uh, five up from the bottom and a few further than that from the top. Top contenders for us, it seems like, in conference are Villanova, who's at number four for the Wildcats. That's pretty impressive. We've got the number 18 Yukon Huskies. Uh, number 24, Georgetown Hoyas, and the number 11, Butler Bulldogs. So it's not going to be easy. Again, here's a look at our team and the preview. The key players, obviously, Ray Braxton, Jason West, and Eric Vilma. They're going to be huge for us and pretty much the only people uh, able to do stuff for us. Team ratings, we have an A- minus overall with an A starter and a B uh, depth rating, which I wouldn't believe those whatsoever. Unranked in uh, any polls and our recruiting outlook. We need a power forward and we only have one scholarship available. So that's going to be pretty difficult. But once we find our guy, we can just go gung-ho in recruiting him and we won't have to worry about signing anybody else. If you are a big fan of uh, NCAA Basketball 10, please in the comments, tell me all of your tips and tricks to recruiting because I'm fairly certain that the NCAA 2K8 was the last and only college basketball game I played growing up. So if you know how to really get guys, let me know. Our pipeline states are Alabama, California, Illinois, Indiana, and Iowa. So we have a decent hold on, you know, the beginnings of the Midwest. Always nice to have California as a pipeline. And then Alabama, who knows, maybe we can find a star or two coming out of the state. If we take a look at our roster, we can see we do have 15 players. And there is a little bit of confusion here. Uh, these names need to get changed back. Sam Clawson is actually Sam Caldwell. Uh, the freshman with, believe it or not, the second highest three-point rating. I would love to uh, redshirt him, but actually what we need to do is just move him up a little bit. Make sure that he's getting playing time, especially as a guard. That's something that would be useful. And then the other name that needs to change is Jamal Vilma. I don't remember. I think Valentine is the real name that he should have. But we did auto-generate the rosters. So we had a couple of repeat last names. And that's just too confusing when it's basketball and you can only have five guys. I don't want to be saying, ah, Vilma, the Vilma, the Vilma, the Vilma, and Vilma scores, you know? So we're going to change that up. Otherwise, if we just look at who we have available, it's not too great. Uh, and actually, I think that we might do a little bit of red shirting. The sophomore small forward is only a 68 overall. Um, so we're going to red shirt him for the year. And I think we might do that with one of our guards in Cameron Marshall. And you know what? We're going to red shirt a lot of guys. We're going to try to build for the future. And we're going to do the same thing for Theo Haley, the 6'5 small forward, who's a freshman. Try to get the worst players red shirted so that we can hold on to them. We could cut some of these players, but I'm not entirely certain that's worth it. Although now that I think about it, we have a decent amount of small forwards. We're just going to cut Theo Haley and hope that it doesn't come back and bite us. Honestly, I don't know if that even will open up another scholarship for us, but he's not going to get any playing time, so I don't want him taking up any space on our bench. Uh, for our custom schedule, I don't think we're going to change anything. I'm gonna, I'm fine leaving it the way it is. We can play a bunch of different teams, and it kind of seems like there's some fun ones up there as we go through our conference play. We have some fun uh, out of conference, though. Miami, USC, Pepperdine, Penn State, a uh, number two Michigan State on the road at Duke, Cal State Fullerton, a good Maryland. I think this is a, a lot of fun stuff, so we're going to keep that. We have a four-star strength of schedule. We'll just need to make sure that we get some good wins somewhere in the season. All right, with all that out of the way, let's start this preseason training. I think this is going to be incredibly important. And you guys heard me say, we don't focus on defense here. We're looking for like literal, like we want uh, Giannis times five on the team, but then also Steph times five on the team. So we're going to focus mostly on shooting and conditioning. We want to be athletic freaks. I think 60% in shooting. We'll go 30% in conditioning, and we will go 10% or 5-5. Five, and five. 5 on offense, 5 on defense, just so that we don't completely neglect it. That's for our backcourt. 
And for the front court, we will have a little bit more defense, decent amount of conditioning, a little bit of offense, and then some shooting as well. Uh, I think defense and conditioning is a little bit more important there. And then our player focus, uh, we're going to focus mostly on the starters, at least a majority. The reserves, it's tempting to really focus on them, but I think we're going to go with a 60-40 split there and just hope that we can start to recruit good players and that way we don't have to worry about the, the reserves anyways. Plus, we should only have one person graduating in Ray Braxton, so I'm not expecting that to be too big of a deal. But that's going to be our uh, our off-season training. Hopefully, it's not the biggest mistake. Again, I don't know a, a, a whole lot of what we're doing, but that's what we're going to go for anyways. And then on to the recruiting central. And you can see it says our program has specific expectations regarding who we recruit. If you can achieve several or all of this year's recruiting objectives, the alumni will reward us with special bonuses. So that could be big. And our recruiting challenges for this year are to sign a power forward and a good potential rated recruit. So we already needed a power forward, so that's going to be an easy one. But the good potential is probably where it will get a little bit more interesting. If we take a look at our position breakdown, we can see three centers on the roster. Just that one power forward, four small forwards, two shooting guards, and a four point guards. And that's even four shooting guards after we cut one. So that'll be pretty clear cut on just picking up a power forward. We only have one scholarship. So that's all we're going to look for. So obviously we would like to add guys who really have interest in playing for us. But we'll see what that can do. The number four power forward in the country. Elihu Amos. Kind of likes us. High interest. Uh, number 14 in the country. We're going to add him. We're going to add a lot of guys. Let's uh, let's just check by interest. The number 51 power forward in the country has a lot of interest from us from Illinois. So that could be useful. He's a complete post, six foot seven, maybe a little bit shorter than we would like. And I think what we're going to do is just try to find guys who are really good. And maybe we find sort of some sort of gem. I do like Chris Jefferson at six foot ten. That's not too bad. And we'll just kind of go through and add uh, as many of these guys as we can. We have 21 spots available, so we're going to try to fill that out with power forwards. And I might throw a couple other players in there as well, because if we find some sort of generational point guard, we would be foolish not to try to pick him up. Well, pretty easily we have our shortlist. If we just short sort by the best players overall, we can see there's a lot of them who are really good. We have a high interest level with, but it takes a while to go down to start getting guys where we're the highest. Uh, but it should be, I don't know, pretty interesting, and I think we'll have a decent chance to get at least a decent player in this first season. All right, well, with our preseason recruiting done, let's go ahead and start the season. Get all that training done, and we'll see what happens. All the teams and players are doing training camps, so we'll simulate through that, and I guess create a new dynasty. And here we are, the beginning of the season What's the top 25 poll? Kansas, Michigan State, Texas, Nova, North Carolina, Purdue, Kentucky, Cal, Duke, and Tennessee make up the top 10. We know that we're quite a ways away from that. So thankfully, we don't play Tennessee our first game. We play Tennessee State. And I think that we're just going to go straight into that. Play this game. $30 for... Uh, section 14 row 25 seat so i don't know if that's a good deal or not but let's see what we can do against tennessee state here according to these rankings this should be a blowout tennessee state a d plus overall uh let's hope for the best out of the ohio valley conference we're just gonna try and body these guys go on the road for our first game as the head coach and we'll see what we can do So here we are, Gentry Center in Nashville, Tennessee, for some college basketball. It's been a long time coming. Excited for it. Jason West It's going to be our player to watch, although I think it's going to be a lot of Ray Braxton, the senior, trying to get it done. We'll just try to slow everybody down from Tennessee State. Although, again, defense is not mandatory. Let's hope for the best here. Tennessee State shouldn't be too easy to get by. But who knows? Maybe they are incredibly easy. West does not win the tip. So it's going to be Tennessee State starting with the ball. 
Oh, West maybe getting bodied there. They're going to the body. Well, okay. Eric Vilma, a foul on the first possession. That's not great. Honestly, though, maybe better this way, since we know that if he gets fouled, he's not going to hit a free throw. It'll be pretty impressive. Two shots to Tennessee State, and they are first on the board, 1-0. Second one's good as well. So let's see what, what, what we can do. Just uh, give it to Ray Braxton. Try to push it up the floor. Can he make that pass? Vilma has it. Oh, we got to go down low. Clawson. Little guy down in the post getting some work done. We tie it up. I'll take that. We just can't let them get inside on us. I think that would be probably one of the biggest problems. Trying to go out to the wing. Is he going to set the screen? No, we're fine. He's dribbling the clock out. A lot of motion. Uh oh, he's driving on me. A step behind. And we get called for our second foul. Two shooting fouls and two possessions. First shot is off. Take that. And the second shot. Ooh, bounces it off the rim and in. Get Braxton free here. Man, they're really pushing this uh, full court offense. Let's kick it out. Webster, unfortunately, oh, passes it away. Did they pick it up out of bounds? Who not looking too happy at the sidelines to start this one, but it'll stay our ball. Just give it to Braxton. Just shoot that, dude. Even in your face. He got fouled. Theo Terry puts him to the line, shooting three. Let's shoot these shots. Ray, not the best shooter, but we are tied up here now with a chance to take a two-point lead if we can hit all three. Second shot is good. And the third shot's off. That's on me, but a one-point lead. They're pushing the pace. Webster's going to get called for a foul as well. Oh, my gosh. Four fouls, and we are less than a minute into this game. All right. I've turned the volume up a couple of ticks as well, so hopefully it sounds a little bit more clear, the, the game audio at least. Tied it up with the first shot, and the second one is off. We get the board. Lawson, we know he can pass, pushing it up. Trying to go with that up tempo. Oh, the oop, but he misses the best passer on the team. Can't find the lob. I will say, uh, don't expect whatever editing style this first video has done and to remain the same. Basketball commentating and editing these videos is going to be a lot different. Maybe a little bit more difficult for me to get into the swing of things than college football, so... Uh, there's probably going to be a few more cuts. I don't know if we'll see all the action. They're going to go deep to the post. That was a great pass, but it gets blocked anyways. Let's push it up the center. Vilma, Eric, through the contact. Unable to get that one to fall. All right, they're going to try to push again. They're really looking for that inside drive with the point guard. Let's see what Vilma can do. He's already got one foul. Got to be a little bit careful. A lot of dribbling out in the perimeter. Let's go body him up. Let's get that five seconds. The clock going, and that was just a great pass inside. We're going to be looking for a little pick and roll here. And I didn't like the roll. Okay, West, the pass goes inside. That's not exactly where we meant to throw it, but it works out. West gets up there. Ties the game back up. Ooh, he's trying to push. He's really launched a drive on Braxton here. Unfortunately for him, Braxton's not bad. But we're going to get called for the foul again. The fifth foul of the game. The refs, we need them to swallow their whistle because our bench is not strong enough to deal with this. Film is already sitting on the bench now. Theo Terry, point guard here, missed the free throw there. Definitely take that. Still a chance for us to take the lead on the next possession now. And second shot's good. Man, they really want this full court pressure, but we could just throw the ball away. Saw Jason West. Couldn't get it to him. Oh my gosh, what a block. Absolutely huge. That was from Bolton, the backup. We're looking good there. Braxton, let's just get the pick. Shoot the shot off the pick. No, didn't like it. Good news is in this game, it's really easy to pass out of a shot. And that three's not good, but Bolton looking good. Keep passing, look for the extra pass. We'll have West back his man down. Pressure's getting there. Looking for the extra pass. It's just not quick enough. Not going exactly where we want it. Let's give it to West. Let him back down one more time. He's doubled up. This is tough. 
turn the ball over just like that. But again, I'm not great with this game so far. It's going to take a lot of practice for me to get where I want to be. That's why I don't think our team's going to be too good, at least for a while. Just uh, a new control scheme for me to learn. And another foul called on us. These guys are living at the charity stripe. Jarrett majoring in communications. Not majoring in free throw shots. Got the second one to go. We need to get uh, pushing a little bit quicker. We're only down two, which doesn't feel right, but that's the way that it goes. That's a risky pass to Bolton. Nice catch. Let's just have him go to the body. And he'll be going to the line, but this is not going to be easy free throw shots. Steve. Small blue bar. First one. Oh, just barely off the back iron. And the second shot. Off the side. Tough to hit free throws with these big centers. Maybe a little bit too realistic for my liking. Webster smack in the ground there. I like the... Oh my gosh, he's getting into it. They're really just dribbling out the clock on this possession. Uh oh, step up. He's going to drive. Are you kidding me? The foul and the basket. Jason West gets called for his first. We are going to be in a lot of foul trouble at the end of this game. Tennessee State. The and one is off, thankfully. And I think it's got to be time to push it, but we throw it out of bounds. Already too many turnovers for my liking. That was obviously a bad outlet pass to throw, but I thought at least you keep it in bounds. Not the case. Oh, I thought we were there for the steal. Unfortunately, it's really hard to try to swipe. You get called for reaching quite a bit in this game. Is that terrible alley-oop? He tried to save it, but that should be uh, demon ball. All right, Braxton. Let's show him. Let's just go coast to coast here. No. Not giving it to you. How about the three-point shot? Got to knock something down. Not the most open look that we've had, but I'm getting desperate, honestly. Well, that's going to be a big drive. Bolton did a nice job of getting in the way, and that's a terrible shot off the side of the backboard. Clawson able to get the rebound. He's pushing, and the pass? No, they're closing out a little bit too quick. That was a bad pass for me. Tried to get it to the corner. Doesn't work out. This one a drive, and it's good on the layup. Tennessee State has us doubled up. 6-12. to 12. Let's see what we can do. A screen would be nice. We just got to try to get it inside. Clawson had success going to the body once. I don't see it happening this time. Although, with the way they're set up, just trying to pass it around. Bolton. I wanted to go to West with that one, but that's fine. There it is. Oh, rims out. Not the great shot. Greatest shot there. And now Tennessee State pushing in transition, and they back off, thankfully. Let's get the double team in the corner. He just blows past this along the baseline. Again, a shot off the side of the backboard. They get the offensive rebound and bank it in. An 8-0 run for Tennessee State in the last six minutes of this game. That's pretty brutal. We need Ray to do something here. Passing it around poorly right now. Let's give it to Braxton. Shoot that off the catch. We needed that bucket. Wish that it was a three, but we got to rely on the mid-range a little bit. These are college players. Gets us out of the slump. Now just an 8-2 run. They're going to go down into the paint. We've got some pressure. He's not shooting that. He's too scared. A lot of the bench shooted in here. Three minutes left in the half. And that one, another nice shot. They are beating us up in the paint. You never like to see it. How about Ray? Oh, that's... I picked up my dribble. That's not good. But maybe Harvey can back him down. Maybe not known for being the best player. And he gets called for the charge. So Braxton out means Clawson may be our best scoring option. Good deflection there from West. I'm not sure that we can do a whole lot there. Driving, and there's another foul. This is getting brutal. Harvey and Vilma both with two. So they're going to be on the bench for probably the rest of this half. What can we do with anything right now? West with a good rebound. We needed them to miss that. I'm just going to have West push it. Nice little pass. Clausen can't get the layup to go in through the contact. 
I just feel like we should be able to get into the body a little bit more, but we're not able to finish the moment. Trying to set their play up here. Here's the screen. Out in the corner. Oh, man, I was expecting the pass. Couldn't get the block. Bobbled around. We have the ball. Let's really try to push here, Clausen. You got it. You got to blow past those guys. And that's a beautiful little spin to get into the paint. And he lays it up and in. We needed that point. Down seven. Two minutes left here in this first half. They're going to push right back coast to coast. We get the rebound. We needed that. Let's just give it back to Kloss and let him do some work. Dribble moves. Not quite there. He's got West though. West going to the body. Can't get it. Gets his own rebound. And that one's up and in. That's a quick four points there. He did that one, making it a little bit more competitive. Down five. Huge screen. They're going to be able to go to the body now, and that one's up and in. Unable to get the blocks. I'm looking for West. He had him posted up, but then... Oh, look at that. Slips through. My passing is terrible right now. I'm throwing it right at Tennessee State. We're lucky to have the ball right now. Braxton comes back in. They're not going to cover that very well. I'm looking for the three here. Wait for him to get caught on the screen. And Braxton can't get it, but it's Bolton. The backup. Oh, got the offensive board, but couldn't put it back in from point blank range. You hate to see that one. This could be trouble. Another drive and another bucket for Tennessee State. All right. Inside a minute left. Let's just give it to West. Let him back him down. We needed that one. Good little turnaround hook shot for Jason. He's got six points in the half. That's almost half of our total points. They're trying to go for the screen. We were able to get a body on the driver, and he's not going to be able to put it up here. 30 seconds. Not really time for two possessions. So maybe we hold the ball here, unless we have a good look with Braxton. That's up, and it's good for three. The clock moving inside 20 seconds. A four-point game. A stop here would be huge. We do get the ball to start the third quarter. Hasn't been any position changes. And we're going to bring Omri Webster over. Let's get a little double team. Uh-oh. Opened up the lane for a second. They were starting to drive. There's the drive again. No foul. There's the stop. Let's take the timeout. Let's think about this. All right. 7.4 on the clock. Braxton gets the inbound, pushing it up. He had the three. I stepped in, though, so it's inaccurate. A little bit long, honestly, there. Did I just get called for a foul? They did call us for a foul, so it's a one and one for Tennessee State to end the half. Oh, that is brutal. Can he get the second one is the question. It's good. So here's what we're going to do. Run Braxton down. Take our time out. Two seconds, maybe a chance to get off another shot. Hope we're not asking too much here. We'll go for the inbounds. Give it to Braxton. Let him launch it. And the buzzer sounds almost had it. Honestly, a relatively close shot. Man, we're going to go into the locker rooms here. Down at halftime, what was that, 23 to 17? We started strong, and then just the middle of the half, we lost our way. We weren't running anything. We were just turning the ball over left and right. We finally figured it out, but it was a little bit too late. So shooting 41%, we definitely can come back. We just got to get a couple more threes to fall. And, you know, maybe prevent them from getting into the paint as much. And we should be just fine. So we'll get this second half underway. Inbound it to Braxton. And let's just get something moving here. See what we can do. I like Joseph open. And then give it in to West. West. Little hook. Up and in. That's eight points for Jason. Every bucket that we make here could be huge. They're really liking to get into the paint. This one, just a miss. Jason recovers it. We give it to Braxton. He's going to push here. In transition, no. Dump it off to Webster. Get the ball back. Shoot the mid-range, and that one's good. Again, we got to rely on Ray in as many situations as possible. And just like that, we open it up 4 nothing to start the second half. That is quick. They went for the alley-oop. That one just barely sneaks in. A little hometown roll off the rim. Let's look for that little pick. See if they go under it. Oh, that's a long shot for Ray. And he hits it, splashed it home. Absolutely beautiful, a one-point game. This is what Ray Braxton can do for the team. 
Especially if they're not going to reply with any threes. That is kind of a problem with some of the AI on this game is it's not great on three-point shooting as they miss another one inside and we can try to push the tempo here. Braxton in the... Oh, well, I thought he was going in the paint, but a little spin move in the elbow. Jumper is good and we take a lead. Deflection, diving to the floor. We recover it. It's all over the place. They come up with the ball. That was insane. Great animations there. Oh, man. I just had the ankles broken. It's continued to happen, but the huge block from Jason West. Joseph pushing it up. We'll give it to Clawson. He's got a lane along the baseline, and the layup is good. Nice job to put it home with the left hand. Look at that run. 11-2 to start this half. That is absolutely fantastic. They don't know what hit them. Webster gets beat. The drive, another shot misses. Their field goal percentage for this half is atrocious. As again, pushing the tempo. Braxton, no and one. But he'll be going to the line, and we should be able to hit these free throws. Let's see. What can we do here? I'm not going to be good at free throw shooting in this game for quite a while, I feel like. But the first one is in. The second one looks off. Yeah, bad bounce. Release a little bit too early. Can't open it up to a five-point lead, but it is still two possessions. Oh, Braxton just got leveled on the screen. Tried to pass it inside, got deflected, and there's a foul. Back to the free throw line. You hate to see it. At least he clanked the first one. Let's make sure we box out here, expecting him to make, miss the second one, but it's in. Give it to Braxton. Here comes the double team, but we just run past it. This one could be dangerous. Passing it in. Clawson. You can't miss that shot. An open layup. And he just bricked it. All right. Well, expect to see the screen and then the drive into the paint here because that seems to be their bread and butter. Let's give him a little bit of pressure. Clawson stepping up, forcing him maybe to the left. And he's going to foul him. Tennessee State building a home here. Uh, you hate to see it. They are living at the free throw line right now. First shot was good. Second shot up and is also good. All right, Webster. Can we push it up? There's a Clawson in the corner. I don't think it's the right one. We want Caldwell, but he's not really in the game. Although they're leaving him open. Let's go in low. Give it to West. Forces some space. The kick back out to Clawson. Corner jumper's not good, but West with the offensive board. And he gets swatted. We've been awfully close. Another big drive here. West with another rejection. It's recovered by Braxton. We got to push the tempo here. Giving it to Vilma. Kick it out. Clawson misses the corner shot. We needed these three-pointers. Nobody else but Braxton really feeling like they can hit him. Uh-oh, looked for the charge there. Got to come over. A little bit too aggressive on the help D from West, and there's another foul. That might be three for him. They miss both the free throws, and it's Steve Bolton checking in for Jason West. And look at this. Give it up. Look at the pass to Vilma, and he missed the wide-open layup. Oh, that is brutal. Vilma, not a great shooter, but you got to expect him to make that one so close to the basket. That's a real shame. They continued looking and prodding, trying to fight it in. Uh, another foul. Vilma with his third. He just came back in, I feel like. This is the part of the game where it gets worrisome. Tennessee State has tied it up and has two free throws to take the lead while two of our most important bigs, two of our starters sitting on the bench with three fouls and still six minutes to go in this game. They make the second free throw to take the lead, and it's going to be up to Braxton again. I think we got to, oh, maybe just push. They're going to give him the lane. No foul, but it's up and in. Great little floater. That'll give us the lead as Tennessee State's taking the timeout, and I agree that was probably a good time to take it. See what they can do in bounding the ball. 13 fouls for us to, I think, three or four to them is very brutal. As I guess that's just what happens. You drive into the lane, getting a body on us, and they're going to call that here in college. So we got to be careful. Let's try to bring the double team, force them. Oh, we almost get the strip. Bat it away. They pick it up and nail the shot. That's brutal. We get so close to forcing turnovers, and then they just don't quite come to fruition. 
as I wanted to take the screen there, but let's just pass it. Well, I wanted to give it to Bolton, but we've got the ISO. Do I have control over my own players? <laughs> that was really weird. I haven't had that. I feel like I was not controlling Braxton there. I'm shooting this three. Maybe not the best shot selection on that one. He's going to go to the body. If he gets a foul on this one, oh my gosh. These refs are absolutely killing us today. First shot is good. Extend the lead to two. And the second shot is off, but they get the board and it's in. So it's a three-point possession to take a four-point lead. All right, let's get this screen. Get the pick and roll going a little bit here. Braxton into the lane. No foul on all the contact, but he still lays it up and in. We needed that. Got to score those points. We started the second half so strong, but it's been sl just slow walking ever since. Clausen. Ankles broken, passing it inside. Good shot contest from Jason West, and we can push it. Lawson has the ball. Let's push, push, push in transition. And Braxton, the corner three is good. Rattled around. I knew right as he released it. He's not going to miss that one. That gives us the lead back. Four minutes left in this game. We know what to expect from them. Uh, it was a little bit late. No foul on the contact, and Jason able to get it. Let's go with the outlet pass to Clawson. Man, I would have loved to shoot that one. A little stutter in the game. Um, Omri Webster can't shoot, but I thought we were going to have a shot there with Braxton. This one's open. You can't leave him that wide open. We'll take him missing that because that's a shot. We're going to give him the green light on nine times out of ten. Wow. Coast to coast. Lucky that that layup missed. Let's push it. Give Braxton the opportunity to do the same along the baseline. That's a foul. Up and in for the end one. Ray with a chance to make it a three-point play to give us a four-point lead. Oh, that was that was the worst attempt that we've had at a free throw all game long. That was not optimal. Trying to bring some pressure. Their tempo's a little bit too much. We have like three guys double-teaming him here. I guess that would be a triple team. Can we get the strip? There's going to be a jump ball. That's big. No! They called them for a foul? Somehow, he gets called for the offensive foul. Should have been a jump ball in their possession. But we have it. And I'm thinking a real deep three. We're going like Damian Lillard range here with Braxton. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he can do those. Maybe, maybe that needs to be a heat check three, though, and not one to get him started. 243 here. They're going to go in low. I'm totally expecting them to shoot this one. Can we maybe strip the ball? Oh, they're going to take a three. We left him open. We get lucky. It rattles in and out. We will keep our lead. Passing it out to Clawson along the baseline. That was a weird shot. Off the top of the backboard and in. Are you kidding me, Clawson? A terribly inaccurate shot, but he gets bailed out anyways. You know that we got to take a look at that one again because that was something else. Clawson... I thought it was going to be a drive along the baseline, but he just kind of pulls up, is inaccurate, and gets the bounce of a lifetime. That is absolutely a thing of beauty. So they took their time out, down five with two minutes to go, and I think we might have to just start burning a little bit of clock here, uh, assuming they don't get a nice uh, three-point play or something on this possession. They're burning a lot of clock themselves. I love to see it. I love to see it. We just got to back off, not allow anything in the paint here. I'm not going to pressure them. If they want to run this clock out themselves, they can be my guest. They're kind of falling into the trap that uh, a lot of AI does in this game. That was a great late possession drive. The only problem is that it was late possession, and now I'm just going to burn some clock. See what we can do with 10 seconds. I'm going to see if uh, oh Braxton can come wide open. Put it into the body. Misses the layup. That's a shame. Still... A three-point lead, a minute and eight. We burned a lot of clock there just for me to miss the shot. But maybe they'll fall into the same trap as we just did. I'm just going to sag off. I'm not going to... I'm not. If they're going to set the screen, it's going to be real low so the help defense doesn't have to move very far. The alley-oop misses! A waste of a possession. To me, that seemed like a foolish decision. But what do I know? Look at this wide-open Clausen. If only... If only I could give him the green light. I know for a fact he's not good enough. 
Back to the basket. They put a little bit of pressure. Let's just keep trying to move. Webster gives it to Vilma. Gives it to Braxton in the corner three. Oh, rims off and out. That one was close. Did we just get called for a foul or was that a timeout? Well, fortunately for us, that was a timeout. We'll see what they can do inbounding this. I wouldn't mind getting a little steal. Clock really running thin. The two-point shot is off. They get the offensive rebound. It's up and good. A one-point lead, 22 seconds left. Uh, shot clock off, so we got to try to get these passes away, and they're going to start intentionally fouling, and that's a problem. I know we don't have good free throw shooting. Braxton gets the ball. Quick pass. No. The O'Henry fouls out 11 points, and he's out of the game. 20 seconds left. They're still not in the bonus. Give it to Braxton. This time he gets the pass off. It's Clawson. The one getting fouled, though, and that's still not going to be a one and one That's what happens when they don't foul us ever. Braxton running away from him. Beautiful time burn here, and there's finally the foul. Sam Jarrett, that's just his first, and now I think we head to the line for the one and ones 13.8 seconds left. Up one point. Make it! Just one! We missed it! They're going to take the timeout a chance to win! Gotta hope for the best here. Curious, are they going to take the final timeout? Certainly that would not be good news for us. Pushing into the body. Trying to bring some pressure. Double team. He's got the open lane. And it's up in, in 0.8 seconds. Braxton, catch and shoot. And it's off. Oh, what an awful way to lose by one in our first matchup. Tennessee State. We just didn't get in front of him on that final drive. They win it 41 to 40. We had oh, every reason to win that one. We had a huge lead in the final minute and we just couldn't finish it. Missing that free throw is so big. But at the end of the game, we start the season 0 and 1. It's not a good look. Our first player of the game on the season is Jason West, eight points and eight rebounds with a pair of blocks. Feel like maybe we need to find a way to get down to him in the post. But again, I'm just going to come out and say it. Obviously, you guys saw it. I'm not great at this game yet. I would say I'm fairly good at NCAA 14, but a lot of that is because I've been playing that one for almost a decade at this point. But with NCAA 10 here, I do not have a lot of hours. So losses like that, I think, are going to start to become less as I get a feel for the game and a better way to run our offense. And then I just have to feel confident shooting with anybody who's not Ray Braxton or Jason West. But a good fought fight on the road against a team that we should have probably blown out. But sometimes that's just the way that it goes. We'll start 0-1 on the season. And that's going to be it for this episode. We play against Northern Iowa. Again, it should be uh, a game that we win. But I'll be curious to see what can we start to do with the recruiting. We have a lot of good players on the board that we're trying to pick up. So hopefully we're able to find at least one that's really good that wants to come play for us. Unfortunately, though, that is going to have to be the end of this episode. Let me know what you guys think about this series. And again, if you want this to become a more regular thing, please absolutely spam the like button. The more support you guys show for this video and all of the NCAA basketball ones going forward, the more likely uh, we will be to continue playing the game. After you've liked, comment. Let me know, again, if you have any tips or tricks for this game, but also who you think will end up being our best player at the end of the season. Also, feel free to subscribe so you can be notified when new videos get posted. And then once you've done all that, head down to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my Twitter, Instagram, our community Discord, and the March Madness Legacy mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. But all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Blue Demons. I don't know, we'll think of something better. But wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios!